how do you gauge this one? Because I know that you've got a really good handle on the Big Ten, and these are a pair of teams that things were looking much, much more promising for them a week or two ago, and big bounce back spot for both. Yeah, you're looking at that line teetering between four and five. It's mainly because of the health of these quarterbacks. Neither quarterback, Sean Clifford or Tanner Morgan, finished last week's game. Both upsets on the road. Sean Clifford went to the medical tent in the second half versus Michigan for his shoulder, didn't return. Tanner Morgan didn't even practice last week. He ultimately left in the fourth quarter after a pretty tough hit to the head. He got evaluated at a hospital in Illinois, didn't return, but he was able to fly back with the team. So in this situation, I would monitor it throughout the week. So unless it's a season-ending injury, coaches won't say much this early. Usually we'll see the reports coming out about an hour before kick. But Penn State, for example, opens a portion of their practice on Wednesdays. So we'll know that the media will be able to see a little bit, give us more of a feel of, of how uh, Sean Clifford will be the other end in our Morgan. It looks like he's being evaluated for concussion. So that's probably going to be determined based off of whether or not doctors clear him. But Coach P.J. Fleck did say earlier today that he is looking surprisingly better. So based off of the injuries there, neither quarterback we know exactly. But Minnesota also has, they've been out with their longtime starting receiver, Chris Ottman-Bell. He's been out since that Colorado game, but they should be getting back pots at running back. So that would be a big help on offense there. But Penn State's defense, they forced a turnover, some four straight outings, including that interception against Michigan. So I think that that could be a challenge for the Minnesota offense. And Minnesota, they failed to cover the spread in the last two games, both as underdogs. Just looking at the way that this quarterback storyline will play out, I have if Morgan plays, I like Penn State by a touchdown. If he doesn't play, I like Penn State by two touchdowns. Either way, Happy Valley, as you mentioned, is one of the toughest, if not the toughest environment in college football. That wideout is going to be a tough environment. Penn State by a touchdown in that wideout against an unranked team that's just one and two in the Big Ten. Sounds like easy money to me. That's just about the lock I have for this week. So I have Penn State covering here. I feel pretty good about this one at Happy Valley.